thinking, I don't know what we were thinking. Probably Fringe. about Fringe. Yeah, I've thought about Fringe a lot this morning. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I think we're going to talk about some Fringe. Yeah. It, since it's fall, it feels like fall today. It was very fall-like this morning. And, and in the fall, you need Fringe. Of course. <laughs> That's our... Fringe is... Fall is for Fringe. <laughs> fall is for Fringe. That's what we'll go with. I guess... I guess... Uh, I'll try and show everybody how, a few different ways to cut fringe. Yeah. I don't know if, if I'll show them any good reasons to, <laughs> but everyone wants to cut fringe. Well, I tell you what, you're seeing a lot of it right now in purses. They'll throw it into the seam on a bag or put it on the edges, it's almost like tassels. Um, you know, a lot of garments have fringe, so if you're garment making and you want some fringy sleeves, yeah. Denny, we're just gonna we're just gonna cut a bunch of different types on a bunch of different leathers, and then a couple different yeah. ways. Yeah, there there's several different ways to cut it. There's the way your fringe turns out is gonna depend a lot on the leather that you use mm -hmm. and the way that you cut it. You know. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people want to cut a piece of fringe that is straight off of off of an article and want it to lay down. Okay. When they pick it up, they want it to, to drape. Right. And if the leather is real drapey, real supple and soft, it that will happen. But if you've got a stiff leather, it's going to stick out. Got something like this. Like a comb on a rooster. Like a comb <laughs> on a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I did see there was a falconer. So I went to a rent fest this weekend new mug and um i wore some fringe i made like a i cut off just like the butt of an elk skin that we had over there and i just fringed it up and i threaded it onto a belt that i had and i just tied it around my waist and i had some fringe neat because that's all this, neat. it's just fun and i put some beads on it yeah got some big hole beads and i threaded i should have brought it in but i didn't <laughs> but you did but i didn't but there was a um there was a falconer i think i think that's what he's called at the at the Rin fest and he had two owls and then a hawk that he brought around and he like made it do tricks, which was a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah. You know, one thing I didn't bring was a pencil. We just happen to have one. Oh, you know what we haven't done yet, Denny? What's that? It's put to do our thing here and get everything that we want in this room. We were that talking is, about that last week. That will be a good idea if we do that. <laughs> Anyway, I think we just keep on talking about it and then just don't ever do it. Yeah, yeah that's probably fine. what's going to happen. It's fine. Okay, I've got a piece of brown leather here. It's it's an upholstery type leather and it's real soft and supple. So let's start with that. We'll cut some fringe. Let's say it's going to be. We'll make it seven inches from where we start the fringe to the edge of the leather. You're gonna you're gonna cut off that beautiful raw edge. Yeah. Well, if we're gonna leave this beautiful raw edge. Mm. We're gonna cut fringe down here. Gotcha. And I just made a line so I have some place to go to. And I'm gonna start to cut fringe, which is uh, perpendicular to this line that I've got. But after I get about halfway, I'm gonna change it and cut it at an angle. Okay. So we see what it looks like. Uh, the, the first method that I'm going to use will be a rotary cutter. Not my favorite method, but it works very well. And I am not going to mark the distance between fringe. I'm going to cut it just approximately a quarter of an inch wide, and I'm just going to eyeball this. Denny's good old eyeball method. Hasn't failed him yet. With fringe, your eyeball is plenty good enough, because if you've got... 75 pieces of fringe there. You know, know, gonna know. No one's going to measure and yeah. no one's going to be able to see the difference. So uh, just use your eyeball. And that I, head knife I, is just like a magnet to your hand, isn't it? It is. I wanted to pick it up so bad. <laughs> but uh, you can just go down the line here and just move it. Just eyeball about a quarter of an inch. And you can make fringe any width you want. The the skinnier you make it, to, 
the less strength it's going to have, it'll be easier to break the fringe off of something if it's real skinny. If it's real wide, it doesn't look real pretty. So just pick a happy medium, whatever you like. T Tony, while, while you're just cutting there, Tony put up the history of, of fringe on my beautiful little screen over here. Apparently it's been around since the beginning of time, which is what I take from 3000 BC. That's the, that's the beginning of time. <laughs> Well, for all intents and purposes. One little tidbit, uh, Native Americans used to use it, not for the look of it, but uh, on their buckskin when it rained uh -huh. in wet weather, water would run off of their buckskin and down the fringe instead of soak into to the sleeve itself. Oh, so it had practical purposes. Yeah, and, and that's what the fringe was all about at that point. Well, that's interesting. But it does look cool, too, I'm sure. There's a little bit of vanity involved, don't you think? Well, sure. Who doesn't love some fringe? Yeah. Yeah, I actually, so when I did my belt, I did it the opposite way of what you're doing, is I left this top solid section about an inch and a half, maybe a little bit wider, and then I fringed the natural edge. Oh, yeah. yeah and so my, cool. my skirt was all sorts of different little lengths yeah. that went around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've cut this straight, and, and like I said, the fringe is around seven inches, I believe. Yeah, about seven inches. And you see, if, if you hold this up, this fringe will drape to a certain amount. It will drape. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to start cutting fringe at an angle. It, that'll do two things. It'll make it drape better. Plus, it'll make this... I've got seven inches from the point that I started here to the edge, but it'll make the fringe longer because you will have a, a, longer, a longer surface on that diagonal. Because math. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good old but geometry. This turns out to be just making that much of an angle. Almost an inch longer. Plus... You'll see how much better it drapes when you cut it at an angle like this. No, I don't normally wear glasses, but I do always have some sort of vision correction. They're just usually in my eyeballs. All the way inside them? All the way inside of them. Like that's <laughs> Most people just put them on their eyes and not on their face. You know, maybe, maybe I've been wearing contacts wrong my whole life, guys. <laughs> okay, you guys. As far as in your eye, <laughs> I had cataract surgery. I am in my eye, <laughs> inside my eye. Uh, they were in there. It is amazing what they can do with eyes. It? it is crazy. Yeah, Clayton has the, the LASIK. That LASIK, he doesn't even wear glasses anymore. No, it's amazing. And it was like, like the next day he was driving. Yeah, that's that's crazy. They lasered his eyeballs in like two minutes. Yeah. Everybody is saying good morning. Good morning, good morning everyone. Everyone, yes. Where is everyone from today? Different place than they were from yesterday. That's how I like to live. <laughs> they could be from the same place as they were yesterday. Yeah. You could pretend it's different places. That'd be okay. All right. Oh, I think now, we got, okay. Now then, I don't know if you can tell this dark leather is hard to tell. You can tell the difference in length right there mm -hmm. from what I've got. But anyway, that's one way to cut fringe uh, with this rotary cutter. Let's, which way should I try now? Straight knife? You can try a straight knife. You can let's, see what happens. Let's do it. I'm going to do it with a lighter color. We got a couple of West Virginias, Austin, Texas, Florida. Razor Blades is from Australia. Uh, of course, Australia. I should have known Razor Blade. <laughs> right, I'll put the round knife down. New Orleans. <laughs> is there a limited length fringe for it to work properly? Uh, no, the the shorter it is, the less drape it's going to have. It'll it'll retain its body mm -hmm. a little bit more because it doesn't have enough weight to actually hang and, and drape nicely. Yeah. Uh, the longer it is, the more it will drape. Uh, 
you can make fringe as long as you want. Yeah. You know, in, in little short fringe, I guess that's okay, but it doesn't do much. It'll it'll kind of curl and, and yeah. frill up on you. Oh, you know what? One thing I like to do with some fringe, maybe I'll do it on this piece that you just did. You can wet and twist it, and you can make yep. curly fringe. Yep. I'm going to do that. That's something that the Native Americans also did. Mm -hmm. Curly I'm going to run down some other states here. Texas, Ohio, uh, North Carolina, South Korea, Ooh. Canada, Oregon, Utah, Las Vegas, Wow. The whole world watching. We got the whole world in our stream. <laughs> All right, I'm cutting this with a straight knife now. And a straight knife, to me, the straight knife and a pair of scissors are the least desirable ways. It's pretty terrible. To cut fringe. It's the hardest. Especially if you have really stretchy leather. That's what I was trying to cut my elk skin last week. I had taken it out to my sisters and um, I didn't steal the right tools from here before I left here for the day. Because yeah. <laughs> I was going to borrow Denny's round knife and I had just my, my razor knife. And man, with it being stretchy, you just couldn't hardly. Yeah. So she thankfully had a rotary cutter yeah. that I was able to use. Yeah, and this is fairly thin leather. This is about to three to four ounce or two to three ounce maybe. But to do it, I'm, I'm holding this straight edge and I'm going to hold it firmly down against the leather. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it won't crawl too much as I as I make my cut. But to, here again, I'm just eyeballing this. You can take a pair of wing dividers and plot out the distance between each piece of fringe if you want to. And if you're cutting just a, a short distance, that's fine. But if you're cutting very much fringe at all, you've got a lot of little plots to make. Yeah, and I guess also depending on how you know stretchy your leather is, once you start to cut, to cut those, everything stretches and moves mm -hmm. on you. And if yeah. you're cutting something really long, it's really hard to get that whole entire section straight. Right. Um, and so that's what this this ruler is one that we've just lasered out, and um, it has uh, half inch marks on it. So this ruler has half inch marks, but if you had one that had quarter inch marks, so you could kind of lay this clear ruler over that way, you could estimate your quarter inch. Yeah. As precisely as you want it, but like Jenny said, nobody's going to be looking at your fringe that yeah. closely. And, and if you're okay, speaking of that, uh, if you're cutting along and you find yourself uh, like all of a sudden you've you've developed a real steep angle, <laughs> steeper than you want. Okay. Uh, just say I've done that. I'm going to take this and cut a little piece of this off. Just cut a wedge out of here. Mm -hmm. and straighten it back out. Straighten it back out. You can get rid of that. No one but you will ever know the difference. Yep. Yeah, fringe is quite forgiving. Yeah. I used to make a lot of shafts and cut fringe on them, so. Yeah, Denny, actually, if you do watch, we is it a three-part or just a two-part series on chaps? Tony, do you remember? We didn't do any series on chaps, but we did a great series on shafts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it could be two or three, I don't know. Anyways, on one of those videos that we did, Denny cut the leg of the chap yes. into fringe, and he had some nice little hints for people cutting on an angle. Yeah. yeah. But here, I, when I cut this little wedge out, I made it pretty straight, but a little bit at a time, I'm going to make it where it's got a little steeper angle again. And there again, you will never see that. <laughs> Just don't try to do this all in one one piece of fringe. Just a little at a time. Oh, yeah. And pretty soon, if I keep doing this, I can I can get where I'm at a forty five degree angle if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Anyway, Colorado, Nebraska, Sweden. We have like four continents that we're covering. What is up, guys? That's awesome. That's we'll neat be, that you guys all tune in and watch it. <laughs> it would be the thinnest or the thickest leather that you would cut fringe out of. You can cut it out of anything you want to. The thicker the leather, the less drape, the, the less hang. The, it won't look as nice. You can still do it. Uh, you know, you do it with saddle skirting if you wanted to. It would be awful. I don't know who would want to. <laughs> but, you know, uh, as far as desirable, I would say uh, five to six ounce leather would be about as, as heavy mm -hmm. as you could make really look. Mm -hmm. Something that's going to behave like fringe. Yeah. yeah. 
That's yeah. going to look pretty neat. Oh, I know. Once it dries, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. I left the straight ones down and then. Yeah, just every once in a while, cut it and do yeah, a curly exactly. one. And, Got some curly yeah. snooze here. That looks nice. Do it to this. All right. I'm the lighter gonna... color will show up better. I didn't realize Twist. how much better the light color oh. would, would show. Yeah. Okay. We've done a straight knife. We've done a rotary cutter. How about a pair of scissors? No, oh, that ought to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one, with a pair of scissors, I think you probably need to, uh, to scribe a line or to uh, plot your... Uh, oh, yeah, because you have to pick it up. Yes, yes. So I'm going to do like this, straighten off this. And then I'm going to come down here. And we'll make these. Tell you what, for those of you bag makers out there making little tassels that go with your bag that then have like your little logo keychain hanging off of them would be a fun idea. Yeah. You can make your tassel match your match your bag. Okay. Hey, Denny, they're paying you for a phone call. Bro. Okay, tell them I'll be there in an hour or so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, we're going to do this with a straight knife. And with a straight knife... I thought you were I'm, doing it with scissors. Oh, okay, with scissors. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's Denny's first day on the job. Yeah, yeah I haven't been here before. Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get you more than $4 an hour. You have to get this in gear. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this... Uh, <laughs> Smart Alley. <laughs> I'm going to take this pair of wing dividers. Listen, Tony, it's Denny Burns Tony, not the other way around. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> get him, i got to get him in the mood for burning me. <laughs> He's got to work him up first. Hey, look what I got over here. Oh, hey, you got them shafts, do you? Well, it's more of just a shaft. I have two, two shafts. I have two blades, but they're not currently connected. All right. His daughter had a wild ride last week. Uh, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, and her chaps got torn in half. Her chaps did, yes. <laughs> Anthony. <Huh? laughs> I had to get done all. I'll put them over there. Okay. Now I'm going to just make myself a line. So you just went down your two lines, marked the distance, and now you're just... Yes, now I'm just going back in between and, them. and scribing a line on these points that I made. And there's a lot of people that say, well, I'm going to cut it with scissors because that's the easiest thing to use and that's what I have. And I guess that's the only good reason I can think of to use scissors. Yeah, it really sounds quite terrible to me. Well, the thing is with scissors, every time you... Open and close those scissors, you make a new little cut. Mm -hmm. And you can never make a nice, long, smooth cut with them. Well, just picking it up and putting it back down and all of this beginning work that you have to do really takes right. a lot longer. Right. Yeah, if you, I mean, you don't have to buy a rotary cutter from us. You can go to Walmart or to Joann's or Hobby Lobby. They all sell just the Fiskars rotary cutter, and that will work. That's what I used last week. Oh, yeah, that seems terrible. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> guys. I'm not trying to make this look bad. Oh. It's doing it on its own. Thanks, Barb. I do not have any rubbing alcohol in here, but if I was doing this for real, that is a great little tip. She well, said. What's your tip? Oh, okay, you're getting it. Yeah. Uh, Barb said if you mix 50% water with 50% rubbing alcohol, it holds it better. So for those of you at home that are wanting to twist some fringe, do a little mixture. And then get twisty. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Tori Jones says that you can uh, use a really thin leather. I And the glue will stiffen it up some, but she says to glue two pieces of, of thin leather together so that you've got a finished front and back. Um, that way, like, if you do the twisted fringe, you've got, like, the two-tone twist that's happening, which is a really fun idea, but you do want to make sure that you've got two pretty darn supple leathers, um, and then just even gluing them together is going to make them a lot firmer, um, so you're not going to get as much flow as just a single ply. I made some 
deerskin chap. Time and deerskin is fairly thin leather. It's probably two ounce at the heaviest, and I glued two pieces of that together and cut fringe with it. And uh, when you glue two pieces of uh, two to three ounce together, you get to uh, four to six ounce leather. So it turned out fairly heavy then. Yeah. You know, and the fringe was was okay, but it didn't hang nearly as well as it would have just cut it out of one single piece but you know every application needs a little different process so but anyway you're seeing you can what do I've it got with scissors. There, what I've got there is is fringe you know cut with the scissors and it looks decent but it mm -hmm. takes about three times as long or maybe even longer than that yeah and it's uh pretty frustrating to me to cut fringe with scissors. When his head knife is sitting right there and he's like, yeah. I'm chopping it up. Yeah. <laughs> then he's never going to do that. <laughs> <clears throat> but you can do it if you're in a bind. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go to the head knife. And I've got a piece of pretty heavy leather that's not real supple here. Yeah, this is stout. So uh, I think this is a piece of veg. Yeah. So let's cut a piece of Brand on it. Let's just see. use that right there. Yeah. Just make myself a line here. I'm gonna have to make some tassels. Have you guys seen our tassel covers? We've got, I think it's like two or three finishes with a little clip on top and just a little tube. You roll up a piece of leather, you stick it up in there, and you drill a hole. They're pretty. They're pretty awesome. I'm gonna. Once this video is over, I'm going to turn all my curly Q tassel bits into <laughs> tassels. Curly Q fringy bits. Look at Denny go. Oh, hey, Denny, you want to scoot over a little bit? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Before, it was just imagine me going. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good shot. But this is by far, for me, the fastest and, and the smoothest way to cut fringe. It's rusty. Hey, <clears throat> Is my raise on there where I it got four dollars an hour finally? It is. It is. <laughs> finally got it on there. It's the first check. <laughs> Took him a few weeks. Hey, promise me that I won't get cut with you having that knife. Okay? I promise you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys got to witness payday. How do you like that? <laughs> Happens every other week. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> I didn't get quite through that. Sorry, but no check for you, Liz. Oh, I don't get paid. <laughs> I work here for free. Yeah, well, you get the privilege of working here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty heavy leather, and if you if you can see this, there you go. Let's do that. It's not real drapey. It just kind of. Hang there, mm -hmm. you know, and that's because of the weight of it. Now, if I cut some real long fringe out of this, let's go here. Let's see what kind of difference that'll make. And you know, the main difference here will be the weight. I'm also cutting it at a steeper angle. Man, look how much longer fringe you get. Yeah, physics is a weird thing. Or geometry, I guess <laughs> this would be. Yeah. I mean, physics is you cutting yeah. the fringe. <laughs> <clears throat> the action. Notice there, I made a real wide end, and that will kind of be noticeable, so I'm going to fix that. It kind of looked like the end of a tie. Yeah. Came down to a little <laughs> point at the bottom. Okay. Oh, and Denny's cutting on the white poly board. Yeah. 
which will make it a lot easier for you to do your cutting. If you're trying to cut on the pound you're just going to stick and stick and stick and yeah, you're not going to cut not smoothly. Stick. Yeah. With, a, with a straight knife or the rotary cutter, that won't be too bad on pound board, but to, but it, with this round knife, yeah, you need something where your knife can glide through it. Mm -hmm. But oh yeah, that hangs you will a lot see better. here how it hangs as opposed to this up above. Mm-hmm. And how long it is. <laughs> It's just better all the yeah. way around it when you cut at an angle. All right. You got this little piece of leather, and this is really a firm bodied leather. It's a, Yeah, it is. Let's use this. Let's the use wild that natural edge. edge. The wild, edge, the wild edge. edge. That's my favorite way to cut fringe, um, is if you have a bag of some sort to leave like leave the flap of the, the bag natural and maybe fringe it out. Um, just so you've got that natural looking edge. Didn't even need a ruler. Hmm? You don't even need a ruler. Nope. Nope. You can just go for it. Well, and that's the neat part about fringe. It's not supposed to be uh, precise. It's supposed to be, give you kind of a ragged, wild look to it. Fringe is wild. Wild fringe. To ride your wild stallion. <laughs> fringe is just fun to play with. I guess of these, what have I shown you? Four different methods? Uh -huh. Scissors? Rotary cutter and a straight knife and then this round knife. I guess of, of all four of those, my favorite way would be the round knife or the rotary cutter. I think I think I could probably do as good a job with as much speed as I can with anything. And <clears throat> speed's not really necessary. I mean I mean if you're doing this for money, it yeah. could be. <laughs> Okay, Denny, we've got a joke for you, and you might know the answer to this one because you experienced this situation. So, Razorblade wants to know, what did the husband say to his wife after cataract surgery? I don't know. <laughs> uh, probably something uh, Denny would never say to his lovely little wife. Probably. <laughs> Razorblade, help us out here. What do we got? Yeah, I've got to know the answer to this. <laughs> Razor Blade, when you're in Australia, living in Australia, you just don't have anything else to do but come up with jokes like this. You're a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> That's a good one. That's actually really <laughs> sweet. You could say that to your little wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to use that. <laughs> All right. This is looking look kind of neat. But after I cut each strip, I always get it back out of my way. Makes yeah. things a little easier if you try and leave them all in a straight row. You're likely to cut your last one off. Yeah, that's right. I've done that. <laughs> that's experience right there. <laughs> that's about all I'm going to cut on this. Okay. So you can see it. But... Uh, here you go. Just hold it straight up in front of you. That makes pretty good fringe, but it's it's a little bit stiffer leather than mm -hmm. than uh, the other stuff, so it doesn't hang quite as nicely. And if you're a, like say uh, you had you were making a pair of shafts and you were using this color, and you wanted a brown fringe on it, you could take this piece of fringe that I've just cut, you just cut yourself an edge on it. like this, then you could stitch that 
Yep. Right onto there, or you could go the other way and stitch it on like this. You buck stitch it on, or machine stitch Ooh. it, or hand stitch it. Yeah. Buck stitch would be nice, like this with yeah, a sharp buck could, stitch. I was going to yeah. say, cut a piece of this and then buck yeah. stitch through it. Yes. Yeah. That would look pretty cool. But there's all sorts of things you can do with fringe. You, I don't know if anyone else has another question on. Well, so I thought I might tell everybody, we do offer um, a small fringe cutting service here. Um, we have a machine that we will run it through. We do not hand cut fringe custom, um, but we do have a machine that will cut up to six inches of fringe um, out of, you know, your, your choice of leather. And so it's basically, um, you have to pay for whatever your footage is that we're, that we have to to cut to get the linear footage out of it that you need. And so like say you, you know, wanted to do six inches of fringe and you wanted a one inch header. So you have seven inches total here and then you needed 15 feet to do your chap legs or whatever, chap legs, whatever it is that you're making or if you're making a bunch of purses or, or whatever it is. So it's uh, six or seven dollars per linear foot that we that we fringe for you um, plus the cost of whatever leather it is that you've chosen to do. But six inches is the maximum that we can run here and they're all um, a they're not quarter inch, are they? I believe they are. Oh, yeah, I think I yeah, they yeah. Are. Um, quarter inch wide is is what our blades are. So in any case, if you're interested, we can do that cost of leather plus six dollars per linear foot that we're cutting for you on the fringe so would you have any tips or tricks for a thinner leather those are much thicker those are stout fringe but it's still thin angela was asking if you had any tips or tricks for a thinner leather uh, i would use the rotary cutter on a real thin leather yeah. I, I think you will have less because the trouble is with using a round knife, when you're pushing your blade, it's stretching that leather out and it making it want to crawl. That that view he's got right there, might I might be able to show you what I mean. But you can see, if you look, that leather's kind of crawling in front of my blade. Whereas with the rotary cutter... I'm just rolling right across the top of it, and it's not really pulling the leather or pushing <laughs> the leather out in front of it. So, so the rotary cutter might be your best bet for something like that. Yeah, something that's really, really stretchy or really soft and yeah. thin. The rotary cutter is a, yeah. is a great one. Or, you know, if you're just scared of the head knife, yeah. like many of us are. Or a, or a straight knife, you know, you could use a, a straight knife and, and uh, a straight edge. You know, that'll, but you'll have to hold your straight edge down. I was going to say, that works pretty well if you're cutting short fringe. Yeah. If you're doing, like, anything that's going to be of any length, it's hard to hold the ruler right. for, you've like, got, every section. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to change your hold on the ruler. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that rotary blade is, is pretty handy for yeah. cutting fringe. Uh, how would you take... Cutting your own friend and turning it into a tassel. I didn't bring a uh, cover. Some basic Let's see tape here. Back. Let me do it that way. Then we've got. Then you're just gonna make a tassel. Let's see. Maybe. Angela said you're your hero, and thanks to me for relaying questions. <laughs> we do what we can. Angela, that's literally his whole job. <laughs> it's to stand there and watch for questions and then tell us what they are. <laughs> it's not my whole job. Right now, for this hour, <laughs> and try to get Denny to burn me. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to work him up enough. Don't worry. <laughs> work him into a lather. <laughs> Don't worry. The fire will it will ignite at some oh point. Oh my goodness! I oh, had the door open. You can hear helicopters flying by. Oh. 
Oh, you still don't have that little squirt bottle of Rinia back here? Maybe. There's a tassel. Depends on where I put it. There it is. Look how cute. Yeah. yeah, you just you just cut whatever you fringed with a little header on it, however much you need here that will go into whatever you're making, or um, sometimes people will... You have basting tape behind you, too. Yeah. I don't see the running. Um, so if you cut a nice straight edge, all you gotta do is you just roll it right up. And then... If you are, if you're going to leave it just with a leather topper and you're not going to put like a little metal topper on it, you want to make sure that everything's really flush at the top and um, you'll probably want to attach some sort of a loop in the middle so that you can put, you know, a swivel snap or something so you can attach it to a bag or a clutch or whatever it is that you're doing. A keychain. Or you can just ditch it. Yeah. Make a hole through the outside. I'll say once you got it all. If your tassel is very big and thick, that's pretty hard to do unless you do it with an awl. Or you could drill it. You can drill it, yeah. It's going to actually cut it. So you got that all wrapped up. And then, yeah, so if you have a tassel cover, you just put it over the top. You just make it as big as you can until it won't go into the tassel cover. And then, or... Yeah, you could you could drill a hole through and you yeah. could stitch it if you wanted. Or you could shove your awl through there and stitch it. Mm -hmm. However you want to finish it up. And then some sort of a loop here to put your um, swivel snap. I like tassels. Drill a hole or punch a hole. Do we have a hole punch in here? We do not. We do. Man, do you think you'd drive a hole puncher all the way through that? Maybe. Maybe. He's going to try. See, I don't trust your thumb being there. Do Thanks. You? No, I don't. <laughs> Made it. Hey. Now, there we go. Yeah, now we've got a hole through it. David just saying that pull a strand out from the fringe and yeah. the loop. <laughs> what kind of leather is the light tan that you're using? This uh, this like one? one next to the mallet. This one? Yeah. That's just uh like the sand colored suede. Yeah. Yeah. Well there you go. And tassel. I'm gonna have with, to with twisted fringe. With twisted fringe, it's the twisted tassel. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sean was asking about vinyl stickers sticking on on leather, and I've I've never even heard of doing it or even tried it. Have you are you trying to do it? like a hat patch vinyls? What are you What are you trying to do? I'm not sure. We need more information. I just a vinyl sticker probably isn't gonna. Yes to leather all that well. Not very well. You could stitch it to leather. You could. You don't think you'd perforate the vinyl? And, well, it should It should be okay. Yeah. I don't know. How about you try it and let us know what happens? Yeah, yeah I we would say... <laughs> if, you, if you're going to just try and cement it to leather, it'll probably peel up eventually, depending on what the use of this project that you're doing, whatever. You're yeah, because leather bends and yeah. folds, though. It, yeah. it, although, if it's just like a stationary thing, it might just stick for a yeah. while. Yeah, if you're oh, doing I, it yeah, on... sent me a link. Let me see what this link well, it just came out wrong. That's not too shabby. And, like, the, the curls are hidden inside. <laughs> hidden curl tassel. Oh, let's see what we got. Oh, so they're making a book with stickers. Yes, because that won't move. Yeah, I think they're just using a vinyl cutter. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess, I get, what, I guess sure if it's sticky enough, it'll it'll stay, you know. Yeah. But even a book cover, unless it's a, a hard 
book cover. You know, it's going to have some give to it. Too. Right, because those vinyl stickers, they stick to windows, so they're out in the weather anyway. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't use something that's really pebbly. They've never tried it. Yeah, something with a lot of texture. And it did look like they were, like, rubbing it down. Yeah, we don't have a vinyl cutter to try it out anymore. Clean this. Oh, he does? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's sign him up for a video. <laughs> sign him up. <laughs> You're elected. Uh, All right. Abigail else? says that he has a circuit cutter. A cricket? Cut. Yeah. You know, I've heard of those. I've never seen one work. I don't know how they work. We used to have people come in all the time on retail that would have little ones. Like a lot of our earring makers or bracelet makers, they would have the Cricut cutter to cut out their parts. And they'd buy thin leather, you know, or cork or whatever and put in those. Yeah, everything I've heard, it's got to be fairly lightweight leather <laughs> that they work. Yeah. Better yeah. close the door. They're coming after us. I knew they'd figure us out. Any more questions about fringe or anything else, guys? Close up of the fringe tassel. Okay. You're not going to hold them. There you go. Thanks, Tony. Wow, you're fantastic, Liz. You guys have to realize we didn't spend a lot of time making this tassel. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it is fairly perfect, but... <laughs> Fringe ponytail holders. What if you did it like that? You just made it and then you poked holes in it and you could stick one of those sure. wood dowels. Sure. Thing. Yeah. And then the tassel's just hanging off the back of your head. Yeah. Sure. Tassel tail. You know, for those of us that don't have any hair, we can oh, give can... ourselves a tassel <laughs> ponytail. Yeah. What are they call those things? A rat tail? Oh, God. We'll just put it. What was that? Um, a fool's tail. A yeah. Fool's tail. <laughs> Um, Pad one style. Yeah, ear, really long, heavy <laughs> earrings. <laughs> oh yeah, some tassel earrings. Ooh, those would be fun. Yeah. Probably not this much tassel. The some much lighter. The lightweight, the lightweight biker would be good. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely do like some little tiny tassels out of the lightweight biker. Just some little small ones if you cut really really fine fringe. Uh huh. Those would be cute. What if you did fringe on the side of a holster? You use chrome, and there shouldn't be any worry for rust that's on the outside. Yeah, yeah, you can put it inside the seam that you stitch up. Yeah, and it would be the fine. The sheriff would make fun of you, though. Yes. <laughs> when he arrested you. <laughs> you he might just arrest you so because you have a fringy holster. <laughs> like this is a crime of some yeah, sort. Your gun is a little bit too weird. <laughs> Let's see. He said, "I added vinyl stickers to the set of a motorcycle saddlebag." Reflective for visibility and match the color of the bike. Cool. Well, that's neat. Yeah, no mention of any issues with it, but. I mean, leather is just one big experiment, guys. Yeah. That's all that we all do all day. Yeah. Is we just when, see what works. Yeah, when you guys ask us questions, it's. We generally try it. Yeah. <laughs> well, not 100% a fact. We make up an answer and then we go test it. You know, we, and a lot, of we stuff, were right. <laughs> a lot of stuff, you don't know a really good answer for quite a while later. Until right. quite a while later to see how it wears and holds up, you know. Yeah. So in six months or a year, hopefully that customer maybe yeah. will get back with you and let you know how it's going. With the reflective, or maybe that's just something that you replace every few years. Right. Like it's a neat idea. It's safety for the bike. Mm -hmm. Um you know, obviously nothing is going to last as long as leather necessarily in, yeah. in the weather and elements. So, yeah. yeah. Uh. Yes, Mr. Stutters. Do we want to do it when you're ready? Well, I mean... Yes, but I don't know if it's going to be ready and in time. And I don't want people to call in because then the phones will be yeah. flooded. But we're just not going to talk about what Tony wants to talk about. Yeah, so Maybe on Friday. Guys, you guys just decide on your own what we were just discussing. <laughs> Unless you want. Tony, if you're going to say something, you can say it. No. Okay. No. Because it's not ready. It, I'm not sure if it's going to be ready. 
We'll just we'll pretend. Try to cobble up an idea and yeah. just slam it out real fast. We're just going to pretend the last twenty seconds didn't happen. Yeah. So <laughs> tomorrow we have got our what I'm calling our R and D cleanup sale. Um, so Clayton has been cleaning under his table, which is where a lot of cool leathers have landed over the years. Um, and so he has brought them over here. So if you are interested, um, join our live sale tomorrow at two on Facebook. And, um, you can see some of the leathers that we have been hoarding in our R&D department for a while. Um, so I've got some cool stuff there. Let's see here, if you haven't made or completed your transaction from last Thursday and you are on here and you know who you are, please do that for us so that we can get your order out and Midnight out of this room. Midnight will be the ending. What? Midnight will be the ending. Oh, right. You have till midnight tonight. Otherwise, your estimate will expire and we're just going to, we'll either resell the product um, or put it back out on retail. Well, we're going to move on. So, you have till um, tonight. Tony should be sending out notifications for those of you that have not completed those transactions yet. D had the reflective sticker on her saddlebag. She said, I was the customer and oh. no issues of it. Nice. Cool. Very cool. Good. Is there a maintenance for fringe that's any different than regular leather? Saddle soap fixes everything, Denny says. That's right. If you make a wrong cut, just saddle soap it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will know. I'll know it. <laughs> no, there's, there's no uh, maintenance issue. You know, everything, when you do something like that, you know, you've actually weakened the integrity of... As opposed to this part here, you know, this fringe is going to be a little bit weaker. It'll be easier to, to Break. tear off, mm -hmm. you know, like if you shut it in the truck door or something. Probably going to lose, yeah, a, and probably lose a little hair. <laughs> and That's he, right. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of answering questions that come up. Uh, uh, SP says, I look for the red veg tan in bigger quantities than the scrap bags. Do you sell it? Um, we have a different red. So in the, the scrap bags is, I think is like five to six ounce and two to three. We do carry just a red veg in an eight to nine or a nine to 10. I'm, I'm not. It's a, it's a drum dyed veg. Mm -hmm. And it's, so you it can. It's eight to nine. Okay. It's eight to nine. You can buy that and then request us to split it down to a lighter weight for you, but we don't stock um, any of the colored veggies, like the green and the blue and the pink and the red. The number is going, or the uh, link is going in everything. Okay. So check out that link, and then you can request to have it split. There's a small fee for that, but it's not. It's like 15 bucks if you wanted the whole side split, or less if you're buying footage. So, Anything else, Anthony? We got a, a, another West Australian viewer, Leah. She says she's been watching. Well, welcome. Wonderful. But she commented, I don't see that. Thanks for saying hey. Before. I assume Leah's a girl. Sorry for assumptions. That's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> he means like, uh, Scott was asking, clean or condition it? Yes, both. Do both. Uh, saddle soap or, or any other conditioner, uh, I mean, that's that's desirable. Especially if you get it wet and it dries back out, you know, it's, it'll get stiff. It'll be a little stiff, yeah. That's when you need to condition it. I guess if you have twirly fringe, it might be a little bit more difficult to do those things. You might have to re-twirl it if you get it real wet or if you if you pull the twirl out of it, depending on how how good of a yeah, twirler over, you are. Over time, those those twists will relax, you yeah. know, so... Yeah, yeah just, yeah, like, just, just like any good perm. You yeah. have to get it redone every once yeah. in a while. You sit there and... Develop a nervous habit of twisting your fringe. Yeah, just twist. <laughs> what you doing over there? I'll just twist good, my fringe. Good twitch. <laughs> well, before we go, Liz. Mm hmm Oh, guys. <laughs> All right. Isn't, isn't that a cool mug? That is. Oh, sorry. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. Rivets, screws. Yeah. And it's green. It looks like a leather handle. Right? Like it's been, it looks like it's been screwed to it. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, is it metal? metal? Uh, no, it's ceramic. It's all ceramic? It's all ceramic. Mm, nice. Yeah. Ren Festy. I'm going to make something out of leather that looks ceramic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let me check. Let me check. Uh, look like I've got, we've got all the questions answered. Alrighty, folks. All right. Well, it's been fun. We will see you tomorrow if you're live shopping with us, or we'll be back on Friday with uh, some machinery stuff. So, we'll, hopefully, we'll have a bunch of machines here that we can kind of show you the ins and outs. Um, I think we'll have an NP10. Um, 
I don't believe that we're going to have the splitter because Leather Machine has been out of those for a while, but we will have uh, the strap cutter and a couple other machines like the Cobra Burnisher. So we're just going to go over some of the machines that we haven't uh, really gone over in our videos before. So if you guys got questions on those, please write them down, bring them up so that Clayton can answer them for you. Uh, you're going to have a bell knife, Skyver? We are. Yeah. Cool. We're going to have the probably an NP-10. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because we're out of the MP4s. And the one that we use is a artisan, so we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you later, guys. You have we a good one. Like, but we don't sell. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye.